Rachel, it's Heather. I thought I would take a moment to respond to your discussion board. I really um, enjoyed reading it. Um, comparing and contrasting kind of kind of these two models, it took me a minute um, to kind of understand what the discussion board was about and kind of read these more more thorough more thoroughly. You know, you're right. You know, in the hope and grace model and in the conflict and res restoration model, like those are talking about where the counselor shares the same function really just going in like, hey, I'm not here to fix this. I'm here to really help you understand yourselves better, help yourselves, uh, you know, help you guys understand what's the pain, what's what's underneath that pain, that pain within and pain between. And then in a hope and grace model, it's just, okay, let's talk about, you know, kind of kind of where your marriage is at, where, you know, it talks a lot about in these chapters about just what your what your strengths are in the in the relationship and then playing off of those i think it's so easy to get that couple in your room and start talking about negative right um just screaming and yelling or not communicating not spending time together coexisting you know just coexisting to be parents and forgetting that they're a couple you know i think it's so easy to start on that negative i notice it you know sometimes in session to where i'll stop them sometimes and ask why you know how did you meet you know why did you why did you get married i'll look at you know the husband and say why did you why did you marry your spouse and then i'll look at the wife and say why you know why did you marry your husband that that makes it take a turn to start really talking about those strengths i love you know that this that this model is is really taking off and building on their strengths I really like it so far that they're giving us interventions. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I need to copy this page for my next, you know, couple that, that comes in. I am wondering kind of which of the interventions um, you like the best. Mine, I really like, um, it's page 54. So ideas to create personal growth. So you talk about what their strengths are you know, and have them kind of identify their list, you know, that list, which ones they are. And if it's one that they might need to grow or strengthen even more, it gives you, you know, ideas. I love, you know, that they suggest just a couple praying over each other and taking a time out. I use that homework often, you know, um, and really just, just listening to each other deeper. Um, you know, um, they talk about, especially for the, for the hope and grace model, you know, that it starts out, you know, considering Galatians 5, 6. The most important thing, you know, to remember is that relationships improve by faith working through love. And I love that next paragraph, the next three paragraphs breaks down faith, you know, faith, work, and love. You know, faith is, you know, believing in something that we can't see, you know, yet, especially for marriage and work. We all know relationships take work. And then love. I'm a big fan of uh, the 90s band um, DC Talk. Um, and they wrote a song called Love is a Verb. And I really do think it's an action. We don't just love, you know, as a feeling. We love, you know, love is a verb. Um, and so I think that's good, you know, to remember. Um, I really enjoyed reading your reading your discussion board. I think we kind of had, you know, some of, the, some of the same thoughts. I think you know, now we have two different ways to uh, approach couples depending on kind of maybe the subject that they're talking about. You know, we have that, that Christian framework one. And then we also, I do think we can pull faith into the conflict and restoration as well, especially when you start talking about grace and trust and empathy. But, you know, specifically with Cells and Yard House is one about just that, that handling of pain. I hope you're having a great day um, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.